Guards Brigade is a special unit of the military charged with the responsibility of safeguarding the president and the seat of government. They form at the forecourt of the presidential villa as part of activities for the 55th independent anniversary, an occasion that attracted prominent Nigerians including Vice President Yemi Oshibajo, the Senate President Dr. Bukola Saraki, General Yakubu Gawan, Chief Ernest Soneko and the former Vice President Chief Alex Ekweme, all the service chiefs and the Inspector General of Police among other dignitaries. The arrival of President Muhammadu Buhari signals the climax of the year's activities as he mounts the podium for the national salute. Secretary to the he joins other dignitaries at the VIP stand to serve the presidential parade and the special change of guards clinically performed by the guard brigade. There was a rehash of what happens as they inspect and take over from each other while on duty with orders dished out by their officers. Some of them silent drills based on what they call discipline of the mind. The two colors on patrol, the national and the regimental colors, were also displayed. The president was joined by the vice president to sign the parade register. Highlight of the day was the release of balloons and pigeons signifying peace in the country. That was also the cutting of the anniversary cake. Here is how some of the dignitaries captured Nigeria at 55. There is nothing that you can wish Nigeria more than continued peace and stability uh, to wish all Nigerians well and to wish the leadership all the best in their new assignment to uh, move the country another step forward. Even though Nigeria is a complex country, uh, I think uh, we are very much loved by by God, we have our problems, but whenever we get to the precipice, we will just have a divine intervention to pull us back to, from the precipice, and then we will start again and, and try to move forward. So um, it's just my faith. We must celebrate what we've been able to achieve, because there are many times during that journey that a lot of people didn't give us a chance to be able to where we are today. And many countries have not been able to do it. Despite all this, we've been able to get to that point. We get to the brink, but at the end of the day, we stand firm and we deliver. That is success. What is left, we will, we will do it together. We are determined to do it for the sake of those who have, our forefathers who have worked so hard to get us here, for the sake of the younger ones who are behind and looking forward. We will not let you down. I think that we are lucky with the kind of leadership being provided by Mr. President, the forthrightness. We will get there. We need to thank God that there is still there is peace apart from what is happening in the northeastern part of the country. You need to thank God for that. And apart from that, we should thank God for the progress that we've made since we got independence. We are now the largest economy in Africa. It's not an easy thing to be the largest economy. But the most important thing is to sustain the economy. And in the words of the president, Nigeria needs to celebrate its freedom from the shackles of colonialism, no matter the circumstances. Chukuma Onwekusi, Channels Television News.